actually have Desiree Charbonnet right here. Hello. How are you doing? I am well. So first off, you gave a concession speech just now. If you could just recap what you told the voters that voted for you out here in the city of New Orleans. Well, obviously, I am very appreciative of all the votes that I received. And, um, you know, what I told the city is that we absolutely have to support Ms. Cantrell as our next mayor. Um, if she does well, the city does well. And that is my whole goal from the very beginning. What did you tell her when you called her on the phone to concede? I wish her the very best of luck. Um, and, you know, anything I could do to help, I would be there. So um, it was a good conversation. And uh, it was, you know, it's appropriate. She won. It was a hard, tough battle. And, and, you know, the people have spoken. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it is true. I mean, it, this is the people's city, and they have chosen. And so, you know, I want her to do well. I want this city to do well. My vision and my, my ideals for the city has not changed. If you could put your finger on one thing, and I don't know if you're able to or not, you're no political amateur here. You've won citywide before for judge. You were a chief judge at municipal court. Is there anything that you look back, and I know it's quick here right now, is there anything that you look back on and say, I could have done differently or should have done differently? Um, no, I think what uh, was the biggest hurdle is that this misconception that, that was out there about the people behind me controlling me, and that's unfortunate because I've never been controlled and I will never be controlled by other people. You know, I make my own decisions. So maybe fighting a little harder um, to push back, push back on that issue might have might have helped. What do you think about the attack ads directed at you during the campaign? Well, they were lies. I mean, again, they were trying to make it appear that there was some kind of a boogeyman behind me that, um, you know, was going to control City Hall. And what's unfortunate is that that's not true. Um, it was a lot of money spent against me, and it was a hard hurdle to overcome. But I gave it my very best, Travers, and uh, I don't regret a moment of it, just as I said in my, my concessions. Desiree Charbonnet, former municipal court judge, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. She just gave a concession speech. We will have elements of that coming up in about 10 minutes during our 10 o'clock newscast. So Desiree Charbonnet, there you go, made a concession speech. Wanted to thank the voters. She also spoke to Latoya Cantrell, the new mayor-elect. And as you just heard, wish her the best. She wants to see the city go forward.